there. Hi. Hi and welcome to this week's video. My name's Flossie. This is Octohat and welcome to Siren the Step Band. This week we actually have more van build or step van conversion. Yes, it's not finished. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I've got the windows open today because it's so warm outside. And the ocean is right there. Yeah. It's been such a lovely day today. So I've gotten out and about a whole heap. One of the places I went to was a little like lion's garage sale thrift thing and I found this Yeet. now I need to fix or restain that corner but I think that could be quite beautiful there I've found online another thing that is going to go here which means this will probably go up here and then there will be a liquor cabinet or some other cabinet that go is going to go there lovely day today it's so nice to like have some skin to show the sun oh um I wanted to give you a little update <clears throat> um, obviously I just woke up and my brain is a bit slow over the weekend I went to thr to a thrift store market and I got a little another little cabinet and I think it matches and complements this corner this corner cabinet very well you can see at the moment that one my bed is a mess I'm about to drive and I just moved my camera gear and stuff that flies around but this is the cabinet isn't it freaking gorgeous Oh. Yes, anyway, I love this thing. It needs a little bit of repair, but it cost me two, bu two bucks. So I have screwed it on and I'm gonna probably have to put some sort of stretchy thing to keep it closed. moved it that end ha huh. awesome now I need to trim that off right, let's mark it Look at that. Look at that. And there's going to be a drawer. And that's going to be where my computer stuff sits. Excellent. These look good. Oh, yeah. I'm going to leave these back on the heat for a bit longer, actually. All right, let's assemble this thing. Of course it decides to rain right now. Not yet. 
attached the frame to the base because I need to see if it fits. No, okay, so I just screwed it in, screwed it in wrong here. So if I screw it like this, it should not be too wide, instead of like this. Okay. tired that's amazing I'm finally getting to some of the annoying pesky jobs that you know it's just a little finish and it's gonna make such a difference to my life I just got back from the hardware store and I bought a few things fabric dye this is a big hint can't show you quite what's gonna happen with this fabric dye but got some reds and yellows oh so pretty as to gold and then, more importantly, what we're going to talk about now is we've got some plumbing fixtures and some hooks. But plumbing fixtures, let's go look at that. Dishes and sink plumbing is something that I'm frustrated with because at the moment the sink doesn't drain anywhere. I've been using it in storage. And that's not ideal. A, it's a lot of mess. And... I can boil water, but I can't use the sink, so I'm wanting to make the sink drain. I live rurally and am often in the bush or on private property or out in the middle of nowhere. I am not going to be using grey water tanks, uh, carting around all that extra water when I can use biodegradable soap or no soap at all. Uh, doesn't make any sense, right? It's extra weight. So dumping it on the ground where nothing in the ground is going to get harmed or damaged, but it's just putting the water back into the earth is a great idea. So in this cupboard, this is where we're at. <sighs> I have plumbing fixture to attach with a rubber thing and this is a gasket but squeeze it real tight this and I've just been trying to wrestle with this pipe I should really take this jug out of the way to push it through the hole and just drain right to the ground like so and then we can figure out how long we want it to be because I think that's way too long and I don't want it to I don't want it to be picking up all sorts of road dust and getting clogged at that end full of mud when I'm driving so it needs to be kind of at the skirt level of the van I think <sighs> yay so I'm just gonna Tighten those. And I think I'm going to need a socket set because I don't even know if I, ha I have, I have socket attachments, but I don't think I have the actual wrench. <sighs> I'm looking forward to using this as more storage and maybe even just putting a piece of wood up here and making some drawers in here because I need more places to put stuff. I have a bunch, 
I'm talking to you under the sink. Hi, I'm talking to you under the sink. I have a bunch of things that I want to put away, take out of mystery, and they need to go somewhere. Under the sink, of course. So the house is currently a mess. I've been doing cooking, and then I chilled out for a bit. But I have recently acquired another piece of thrift store furniture, which I'm very excited about putting in the van, but it doesn't fit. It is completely the wrong size, so I need to chop it down a little bit. And it's a bit cringeworthy because, oh my gosh, this poor thing is like, it looks gorgeous. You know what? I should, I should tape my edges before I cut them. That's a good idea. You ready? I'm sure you're all wondering, what on earth is Flossie up to now? Well, let me show you. This is the piece of furniture pretty but it is way too wide this way and way too tall that way so I'm gonna cut it into sections to use that piece to use that piece building today so I thought I would burn them just got some orange peel too and I'm gonna put it on here because it'll make the place smell good and then I use this to light my fire but it's empty so we refill it warm in here soon. I'm gonna tell you it is 15 degrees so it's not freezing but 15 is not quite warm enough. Hi everybody good morning yesterday I made this cupboard <laughs> I gave it some sur a surgery lots of surgery and now we have a beautiful cabinet like this so I still have to attach it to the wall yet, so I'm probably going to screw it in here and up here. And I think it looks amazing. And then this, I think we'll put here. That way this overhead cabinet can still open and the spice rack and then leave space for stuff to go on top of here. Should I choose to do that? Or open space of beautiful white wall so it doesn't look too cluttered. But this is going to be my liquor cabinet. I'm so excited. I always wanted to have like a pretty little liquor cabinet. I had envisioned one with glass doors, but you know what? This is pretty fancy. This makes me want to do this. <laughs> Most of the booze I buy is like that size bottles. And I buy that size bottle on purpose. So that it fits. We're gonna have to have a section of tall stuff. I have to make some sort of thing to hold it up. Or to hold them in like this. Tall bottles don't. Well that helps. I'm so thrilled. 
They've got good latches to hold it. I mean, oh. that side's got a good latch. To hold all the bottles in. Ah, oh, looks so pretty. Yay. Organization, yay. And obviously all my tea bags are in here. It's a bever beverage corner. I love it. I'm so excited about this. It's gonna be so freaking cute. Just arrived in the mail today. I've been itching for this to arrive to show you. Oh my gosh, it's so well wrapped. Look! Look! It's a teeny tiny brush and shovel. Like they're so wee. Look little brush that slides down to protect it so I can sweep up around my fireplace my little shovel it's so tiny and there's a little creature on the end oh I love it so much now it's gotta find a way to hang it up This is where we are, and we're up behind this, up in here. And you might say that this is one of my, now that it's summer, biggest regrets. I didn't wire this properly all the way down. And that wire is the fan. <sighs> it's the one thing I need right now, cool air. <sighs> all right. I'm gonna strip off this shitty wire, which I just taped on and it didn't work. I've tested these, so I know these definitely work, but I need to put on proper wiring and proper connections. Yep, is to cut off these. Snip, snip, because those I can't use and I need to heat shrink on extra wire, but that has to come off first. There we go, chop them off. I'm doing all of this while trying not to fall to my death. <laughs> I think I'm extra dramatic, dramatic today. Wire. Lush of wire. So, I've stripped, I've stripped the ends of these. Both of these now have copper wire exposed. But to make it easier for myself, I need to take the ends off these, apply the heat shrink to this end, make sure I get the negative and positive connected the correct way around, and then I only have to like fandangle up that end in the tiny hole once, not twice. So I'm not gonna connect that to that end first, I'm gonna connect it to here. Hopefully that'll make it easier for myself. I don't know, wish me luck. The bits fluzzy. Alright. 
I learnt that you don't have to put it in the fire. So if you look back to my electrical videos at the very beginning of the van build, I was putting this in the fire as opposed to above it. Above it's a much better idea. And then we will crimp this little metal one once both wires in there. Okay, this one's also too long. Okay, so wish me luck. I'm gonna try and put this on the other side. In this tiny hole. Well, I guess connect the tool there. That's one. One connection done. I actually took the pink ones off and switched to these yellow ones because they're larger. And I really wanted to make sure I had a proper freaking secure connection. And I was like doubting myself that I'd done it right. So. Now we have, I just gotta squish this connection. And then we go test the other end on the power source and hope that the fan works. Hopefully. I really hope it does. Don't. Toss that down there. Go check. So we will, this fan is one of the ones that, it's not a super fancy one. It'll only work if this is open. And it from off onto out low. So it has an in setting, which was one direction out. Yeah, so there's a fuse there. So that's ready. Let's go give it some power and see if it works. This is the one I'm most nervous about because the wiring for the fan goes through the ceiling and it's not really like I can take it out or trace it back without taking all the ceiling down if it doesn't work. All right, I think it is time to back up the solar panel. This is some chaos. I can't wait for it not to be chaos. Turning on is the fixture. There we go. Wood does not conduct conduct electricity. Negative, positive. it did anything. I should have checked it one more time at the top to make sure it still worked. <laughs> I didn't turn the power on the battery. I thought it didn't go do anything and I was about to panic. <sighs> okay. Connected. Negative and positive. It should go once I turn this on and we should better hear it. Goodness. <sighs> I show you yesterday I screwed up the surround for my fan. I mean it needs a little bit of a clean, but it makes it look so professional and tidy and finished. Oh my gosh, I love my ceiling so much. struggled a little bit with resting. So I have been experimenting with active resting. And for me, active resting in this case has been painting. Pulling out my watercolors, and I found this beautiful painting book which has the outlines of flowers, so I don't even have to think about trying to draw, because drawing's not my strong point. But the joy of playing with colour has not been lost on me. 
after coming out of all of the stress of editing my documentary and being so busy organizing the documentary screening, it's been really nice to just plop down in front of a podcast or some of my favorite YouTube channels and just paint. So I'm going to be giving some of these paintings away. I'm I'm planning on posting them to uh, some of the higher levels of my Patreon tiers. I think they're absolutely freaking gorgeous. It feels nice to give something back to those who've been giving so much to me. But I think it's beautiful. Those lovely candy striped tulips. Tu- Wee! It's so beautiful. Yeah, and these pens are like. This is what I've been working on, and it's probably actually about that size. Go with the flow! Octo hat sticker! Hi everybody! I have some post. A teeny tiny box arrived for me in the mail. I confess I've already opened it because I wanted to have a sneak peek inside. But, well... So, a little while ago you saw me editing on Photoshop, making up uh, some... Just designing an octopus. And it has been turned into this beautiful sticker. So these are die cut uh, vinyl stickers. They're very good quality. Um, and you can put them on drink bottles or on your fan or on your computer, your notebook. Um, you can put them wherever you want. Your fridge, I don't care. Um, and I really wanted to give a shout out to this guy. Ooh. This guy. And this is my octopus hat that I made in the middle of winter last year when I went through that um, breakup that kind of shook me for a six. And making this octopus, having this friend, really made a difference to my little old heart. So go in with the flow and I was talking to somebody yesterday about the go with the flow or the saying it is what it is and it's this reference to impermanence and that change is always real that we can hold on to things being the way they are and there's no guarantee that that will be the case like um, look at the world for this for the example everything is not happening as predicted or as our parents generation experienced everything is different so going with the flow to me is this connection to impermanence connection to change and the ability to be open to possibilities that you've never thought of Uh, being aware that your life could change direction and this ability to look for opportunities, look for joy, to chase joy within those moments that you didn't plan or you had a breakdown but you ended up somewhere amazing or you're, you ended up with a vehicle that needs a lot of work done to it but this is all this opportunity for learning so going with the flow to me encapsulates all of that and I really wanted to combine the octopus the octopus which meant a lot to me and the saying that meant a lot to me and the camera is not going to focus is it focus anyway I'll show you a close-up later um so this is an new edition um I think I will send you a couple of stickers but they're available on my website and they will can also be bought in uh, connection with 
this set of stickers which is the first one I made this one I made giant by accident these are the size they're supposed to be which kind of double up as my YouTube business card <laughs> if you if I bump into you and you recognize me say hi and I'll give you one of these but you can also purchase them on my website um, this is me me and my wetsuit gear my wings that I have tattooed, oh you can't see them, the wings I have tattooed on my back and the step van in here and it's modeled off a tarot card. Um, tarot cards mean a lot to me and I don't really speak about them a whole lot but that's the story behind these stickers. Now all of the stickers at the moment are, ooh, all of the stickers at the moment are going into my electrical fund. I am the next one of the next videos coming up is me installing the batteries and setting up the inverter and getting solar started to power all of the stuff that I have in the step van which is super exciting and if you're not already a patreon there's behind the scenes videos on patreon that you can go and check out and see real time all of the stuff that I've been working on the step van the build continues so thanks to you, my Patreons for being such an amazing support, giving me advice during this process and you're welcome to pop over there and join the, them. There's news, updates, real time, special videos that are only for Patreon. Yeah, makes me happy to have a community of people that mean a lot to me that I have deeper connection with. Like I can share videos with you and I see your comments but there's such a deeper connection being able to chat ask for advice, share advice, cheer each other on and that's what Patreon really means to me so I wanted to share these stickers with you because they finally arrived and I'm stoked about them and what they mean to me like stickers in this kind of sense are like a tattoo it has a meaning that either is special and private to you or is special that can be shared with other people so yeah this is a little creation of my uh, Octo Hat continuing his journey and I want you to all be able to have an Octo Hat guy to come and support you if you need it and remind you that change can often mean opportunity and impermanence and evolution of things while challenging can also bring joy and new things and friends and connections that you never expected. So there you go. You can sit, find them on the link below right here. Mwah. Thanks. Time to put one of these on the sticker wall. Oh look, look at my two octopuses. And then my beautiful swimmer, my nudibranch, and my lion's mane jelly. I think I'm gonna put it, part of me wants to cover this crinkle, but I think I'm actually gonna put it here. I think they go really well together, this nautical themed bit. Oh, look at this guy. This is such an incredible sticker. Thank you so much again. Such a great gift. Look, there's a Frank sticker. There's a whole bunch of other things.